authentic education and conversation. They do this with real life experiences, tested and proven approach in their strategies, techniques and coaching methods. They have programs and they provide education through on an online platform and we'll talk about that. It includes dating, sex, relationships for men and women. They've both written books. Uh, one is Dating, Win the Dating Game, Dating in the Modern World and that is with Melina who's written that book and she can have a little chat about why she wrote that book shortly. And Jane has written one, Relationships, Honeymoon Forever, Love and Passion That Lasts a Lifetime. Both Jane and Melinda um, are mentors and I would like to welcome Task. We can do all sorts of things. So I'm just about to turn your mic, so I haven't turned them on yet. <laughs> so welcome to the show. Thanks, for and us. Ah, my pleasure. Thank you for coming in. Now I'm just going to start, and I'm just going to ask you both the same question, one at a time. Jane. Yes. What made you go into business and do what you're doing right now? So I came from a background of a six year abusive relationship where I got out of that relationship and I realised that something got to change. And when I started the journey of finding out the secrets for happy and successful relationship, I realised that um, the common denominator was me. And even though it was a journey to find love, it was more to find myself. And through that journey, I was able to attract an amazing man in my life now, my husband and the father of my child. Um, and so that became my obsession for many, many years to, to help people who have been through abusive relationships, who had no idea where to start to find love so that they can attract and create the love that they truly deserve. Fabulous. And we'll, we'll talk more about that as we go through the interview. Melena, why did you start doing what you do? And we'll talk further about what you do. Yeah, um, I had been in a relationship for 11 years and I was trying, well, basically I ended up out of that relationship and I needed to bring back my inner sparkle. And I had, uh, towards the end, started looking for some answers to help bring the spark back in my relationship. And I went looking in the adult industry going, oh, you know, what can we do to spice things up? We've been together a long time. And I was mortified with what I saw out there. Not only the styles of products, but the lack of information, the miseducation. Um, and really, it was, it was just the products were awful. No one really knew. Even the people in the stores didn't know what they were selling. So for me, I went, you know what? We need more education out there. So I just dove straight in and I did a lot of research and really got stuck into looking at doing education for intimacy products and nobody is doing this. I also noticed that no one admits that they work or uh, own an adult company. So I made sure I stuck my face with a video talking to you when you come on my landing page saying that you're normal if you're going through all these different experiences that we all go through every single day. <coughs> And we hide them, don't we? We we're, do. We're not true to ourselves. We're really um, being dishonest, I suppose. Completely. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's all about loving yourself and, and doing for you first, looking after you and taking care of you so that you, then you can take care of others. But Correct. if you don't do those sorts of things and nurture yourself in lots of different ways then we can't really nurture somebody else, can we? Oh, 100% correct. I mean, that's the biggest issue is first we're in denial with ourselves before everybody else. Absolutely. And yeah, it is, it's a vital component to, to work on you first. That's so true. Now, Jane, what did you start to work on first when you left your relationship? What was it? How did you come about learning what you needed to do to start working on you as a person, as an individual? I think when I left that relationship, I was really, really lost. And I thought to myself, where, where, where do I start? I was, there was really no manual in terms of operating relationship and attracting love. And so I just went to seminars and workshops and I thought, 
okay let's let's find the secret to attracting my true love my soulmate and the more I learn about that I realized that I actually had to find myself to find my voice to find who I am and who I wanted to become so what sort of workshops did you look for when you were searching what was it in the workshops that were helpful to you what type of workshops did you go so to? I started more with dating workshop because I thought well, I had no idea how to find a man so let's go out there and get someone to teach me how to do that and then it sort of went from dating workshop to more personal development workshop so and I'm a big fan of Tony Robbins um, and I've been doing his woo woo, woo, -woo. <laughs> <laughs> say I I <laughs> And I've done the fireworks, um, the firewalks and everything. So for me, the journey of finding someone to complete me quickly turned into finding myself and finding ways to complete myself. Is it that you need someone to complete you or is that an added something? Because you as an individual, us as women, are complete within ourselves and having a partner or having a relationship is just an addition and, and I'm not saying just an addition it is that extra that adds to the quality of our life because we are complete oh, we don't absolutely. need someone else to complete it and I think that was the the myth that I mm. used to believe in I used to believe that a man will complete me and I'll be happy and then I was spending so much time and effort trying to find him and I went you know I got into very short-term relationships and I realized that well I'm still not happy what's going on and then I realized that it's not about finding someone to complete you it's actually about sharing your own magnificence absolutely and it... your wholeheartedly and put yourself out there and the more you do that the the more fulfilled and happier you feel Absolutely, because you've got you've got to say to yourself, I am enough and feel it in your heart. Oh absolutely. And I would say ninety nine percent of women do not know how to do that. Okay. And they need and, and such as interviews like this and many more to come, uh, it, it's all about creating each of us to be the person we truly are not someone that someone else mm. thinks we should be or could be yeah. we are individuals and we have to accept each other as individuals and to be that there needs to be some education out there mm. to show not just women but men men need to be complete as well yeah, and they they have the right just as much as a woman to be that individual guy and, and it's not about, and, and to say, you know, I, you, lo you love yourself, it's, it's about being true to who you are. And Melina, can you add to that? Oh, look, I realised that I had unconsciously uh, in my relationships morphed into the person that I believed my partner desired. And that was a big mistake. Okay, we're just going to leave it on that and we're going to come back after these breaks and talk more about that. So don't forget where you, where you are. 88.3 Southern oh, FM. Da, da, da. Lucky 13 Garage, right. Bayside's I premier live like music that. venue with I might, the best um, local and interstate pop cover on bands. Scared. And and so, so guys, um, <laughs> hang on. So we're gonna we're gonna put this on pause and we're gonna do the next version. Um, so just wait a second and join in in a minute.